They said they're also uh, selling out of Nintendo Switches. Yeah. Everybody's buying Nintendo, which why, Travis, do you have any idea why the Nintendo Switch instead of one of the real gaming systems? Uh, well, first of all, Nintendo Switch is a perfectly fine gaming system. I own one. Oh. I love it. It's fantastic. No, that's right. Are you playing a lot now? I'm playing it right now. I'm playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> that's where I was going. <laughs> What's Animal Crossing? It's a game a 39-year-old man should not be playing. We try to run over bats, what they've done to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, like... I saw I seen the social media post. Everyone is playing this, and well, not ever all the children. A and, lot of and, a lot of groans. It's actually a a lot of adults like this game too. As a matter of fact, it's a sim-based game, so it's actually really fun for everybody because you can and you, just. Do you start your own farm? No, you like you you you're on like a deserted island, and you kind of just like build it up. But it, it is it is for kids. I mean, it's the the graphics are for all ages, which includes right. me. All ages. Yeah, all ages. Which means uh, 11 and below. Which means that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that I get upset when I see that my daughter's, you know, ahead of me. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't have a house you, yet. I still have a tent. Do you have two separate games with you and your daughter? You don't share it? No, we have to be on the same island. Oh, uh, Manhattan. You, <laughs> or Staten. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so stupid. But so, but you don't have the same project that you're working on, or you do? Uh, so, no, we're she's building her own stuff, and I'm building mine. But you can interact because it's all on the same island. Can you imagine Jim having a daughter, and she's got a game, uh, a video game that is suited for people her age? And as an adult man, you have to tell your daughter, "Look, I'm going to start building stuff here too. Don't interfere with any of my work. You stick to your work, like you have to explain to your child, <laughs> yeah, why your stuff gets to stay separate." And she doesn't listen. She takes my stuff and she hides it. That's funny. <laughs> Probably because she's uh, she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed that you're her dad. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, because you're playing that game. I mean. But we're all in the same house. She's not like going to school or anything. And yeah, and doesn't want to see you doing that. <laughs> No, especially when you're having the conversations with her, where you're like, look, just don't touch any of my stuff, and I won't touch any of your stuff. Like, you have that 39-year-old control, where you're, like, trying to, you know you know what I mean? Like, it's you, you want things done game. your way. Right. I paid for it. It is my game. You're now on the level of a child, arguing yeah, that, about who, come out. who gets to, for I did who gets for to use the hoe. Yeah. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. You purchased it for you. Yeah, I needed something to do. Oh. I'm very busy. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I got the show. I got Animal Crossing. That's about it. It must be. You know what? It must be actually be dope to be your kid, because like you buy things for you, and the kid's like, "Yeah, I want to see. I don't. I don't care what dad got me. I want to see what dad got himself. I'd like to play with that." Yeah, but I need my own time. She's oh, always playing right. the damn game. Right, right. And you guys don't play together. No, no, no you can't. Why play would together. you? Why you not? Can't. You well, can't <laughs> play together. I mean, you can, but it's only one person gym. can work it's on a one their player stuff game. At the same time. And you don't get any fulfillment out of helping your daughter do stuff. No. <laughs> it's a game. Of, I mean, because if you help your daughter do everything, how is Travis Land ever going to get completed? Yeah, I'm not benefiting. She's benefiting. I yeah, I see. And then you get well, jealous of, of little Trevetta Land. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What do you call your land? My, our our, our island? Point? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to know. Yeah, I would love to know. Ah, no. It's fine. I mean... You have one of the rare Nintendo Switches. They're selling out all over the place. You are not allowing your daughter to play the game so that you get your time in. <laughs> yep. Uh, I told her I was going to bring it to work. Yeah, I mean, how does she feel when you say, okay, how old is she? Uh, Ten. Okay, so she's ten years old. Yeah. And you say, it's time for you to go to bed because this is the time where it's appropriate for a ten-year-old to go to bed. But she knows because she can hear it from her room that you are... Continuing she hears the music. in the activities that yeah. you guys were doing together. She's like, Dad, it's not bedtime yet. I could still have activities. And you're like, sorry, nope. early bedtime right. tonight. Yeah. yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. Go to bed. What's the name of your <laughs> island? Taftville. No. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's You not. created Taftville? Why would I lie? I would never lie to you, Jim. Because you were thinking, what's the shittiest thing I can say right now? And Taftville... <laughs> <laughs> came out. <laughs> Look, if you don't believe me, I can post a picture later. I think you should. People keep asking if they can come visit my island. I haven't given out my code yet. 
Oh, if you give out your code, people can visit your island? Yeah, you can go to different islands. You can, like, you can earn, you know, uh, well, there's no money. It's bells. You earn bells. Oh, cool. Yeah. You, 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 you're you trying to get your daughter off the video game so that you can jump on and start collecting bells. Yeah, I need mines. I see. I see. Yeah, because it's, well, who cares if she has bells? She's got does way she more bells in, than me. Does she live in, in Teftville, too, or does she have her own island? No, she lives in Teftville. That's the thing. Like, oh. one island per... Per switch, like it doesn't let you have multiple saves. That's like we would have to buy a whole new switch for her to have her own island. And they're sold out, so you can't. Yeah, plus like four hundred dollars. Yeah, but I can still see. So that's an oversight in the game. You think that there's not? There should be maybe an an option if if you know the dad wants to just create an island on his own that should be available to you. Don't they think about parents? (laughs) Right. Apparently not. Yeah. No. no. You said it's for all ages. All I'm ages. And yeah. age. Yeah. Nine. What's typically the age that plays? Though? Probably to what? At least up to 39. <laughs> <laughs> uh, aside from the island of Teftville, which I'm sure the kid did not want to call it that. Uh, mm. Well, she doesn't have a say about the game. Right. That's, that's true. Just, I yeah. paid what for did it. She, what yeah. did she want to call it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> keeps kicking back. <laughs> uh, what was the question? What did she want to call you, but oh, she never no. got a... No. Mm. Well, no, because I named my island... See, when we got the game, I, I obviously... I opened it and I played it first. You didn't let her play it first? No, it's my game. Oh. And then when she started, we figured out, oh, it can only be one island. Well, guess you're stuck in Teffville. Yeah, then it's uh, going to be my island. It can't be yours. Mine. That's right. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Yeah. Um. S- but you what? Split the island? Yeah, she's got she's got her little area. I've got mine. I see. Yeah. I see. Island gets. We will we'll open up more of the island later. What kind of stuff do you island. get to do in Teftville? Well, you can. Uh, Chop some wood to craft some items. What? And you just how does this? How's this just fun? Awful. It's an awful, awful, unfun game. It's very fun, and I've gotten a, a lot of people on social media have asked me for my code because they want to play too. So lots of grown island. Yep, that's right. So could they fuck up your game by being there? Um, I don't think so. I don't think you can mess up other people's islands. You can just go and look around and maybe sell stuff. That oh, would be awesome. Yeah, because like those I could World use... of Warcraft, those well... World of Warcraft funerals no. when they have like a, <laughs> they have like a, yeah, like there there are these great videos where in World of Warcraft, you know, it's a it's a huge multiplayer game, thousands of people all playing at the same time. So they have these uh, they'll they'll do a funeral like where in real life. One of the people on this team died. And so the team got together and they had a funeral for him in the game and his character. And they all lined up to pay their respects. And obviously they were not armed or anything like that. And then this other troop that I guess they were feuding with decided not to respect uh, the the <laughs> the rules of a funeral. And they just came and raided the whole thing and killed everybody. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It and just ruined it for him. No, Leroy Jenkins, that was another one. That was like the first great gaming clip where it's a bunch of people, and I think it's World of Warcraft too, and they're all getting ready to fight like a big dragon or something like that, and they have to get their strategy ready. You have to take him from that side. You have to take him from that side to make sure that we get them all and then we all survive. And just as they're finishing their strategy, one character just runs off and starts shooting everybody and yells, Leroy Jenkins! And he just starts running off and killing everybody, so of course the whole team dies, because there's no strategy behind it. <laughs> oh, he's just yelling and running. <laughs> yeah, and they go, why'd you do that? That funeral, didn't have a good answer. The funeral clip is the best. It's the best. It's because it's so shitty. It's such yeah. a mean thing to do. <laughs> but dude, I mean, but I've been, I've, it is deserved. I've been playing uh, PUBG mobile at night. Oh, me too. You have? Yes. We should coordinate. Yes, we should. Because I've I've been oh. really playing some pranks on my team. <laughs> I've really What's a good been prank. Fu- you play. I mean, it's such. So I here's the sanitizer. I do. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> oh. That's that's IRL, Jim. 
Here's what the so uh, PUBG. It's a hundred people playing at once. It's a multiplayer game. You're playing on your phones, but you're in teams of four. So I'll go in. I'll have everybody parachute with me. I'll bring us to an extremely populated area where everybody parachutes into. So, I mean, there's a high risk. If you parachute into that area, you're probably going to get into a firefight immediately. But what I'll do is I'll parachute my whole team into a, a populated area, but I'll land right next to a helicopter, and I'll jump in the helicopter and fly away first thing. Which Leave your team? Yeah, so the team is stuck there in the highly populated area, and there's no helicopter for them to escape on, because I left with it. You're like the pilot in Apocalypse Now, where the fucking yeah. where the lady comes and throws the bomb onto it? <laughs> yeah, or last night, I was very proud of myself, because I tried it, but it didn't work, because one of my other teammates got the helicopter. But then he landed the helicopter on top of a building where there was no way to get off of unless you jumped off of it and really damaged your character. So what I did was I went next to that building and I blew up the helicopter that he had landed on it. So then he was stuck on the roof of this building with no helicopter. <laughs> it's awesome. Do you know what I would do? I would play funny pranks. Like I would like when everybody landed, I would say, "Hey guys, we're in the army," and they would run. And I'd go, "Nope, psych, we're in the Marines." Well, I mean, it's not like an army. It's more battle royale. It's not like an army thing. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I figured that'd be a fun prank. I don't know, it doesn't sound super, super fun. No? No. Oh. Can you no. kill your teammates? Like private you, pilot so, toilet? So you can kill your teammates. Um, the only way, and they knew what they were doing, the only way to kill your teammates is to blow them up. You can't shoot them. No, your teammates no, are impervious either. to... You, yeah, you can't kill them with kindness, no. <laughs> Your teammates are impervious to bullets from friendly fire, but oh, you can okay. blow them up with grenades. <laughs> and there is one mode of the game where they have grenade launchers everywhere. So that's all I play. Because then you can chase around your teammate and, like, you know, one of the great things you can do is... Here's another thing I like to do. I like Do to they go, like that when you do it? Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to get them to turn their mics on so I could listen to them reacting. <laughs> I should record some of it. Like, there's uh, they open these super crates, right? And these super crates have the best weapons in them. But it shows you on the map where they are. So what I'll do is I'll run to the super crate knowing I'm going to die because I'm going here by myself. Right. But I'll go to a super crate that's near a teammate. So I'll try to lure the teammate in with me. And then if I get shot, your teammate can come help you. So I will go into an area where I think I'm going to get shot, and then if I do get shot, I will tell my teammate, come on, come on, come help me, come help me, knowing that if he comes help, comes and helps me, he will also get shot. <laughs> oh, you're just bringing him down with you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, you're yeah, the wrong guy right. to be in a foxhole with. Yeah, no, no, no. It's a really, I mean, the level of sabotage is very, very high. But are you just doing that to amuse yourself? Yes. Yeah, I, mean, I don't Jet blame you. Jess will see me with one earbud in, looking at my phone, just giggling to myself. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm listening to people get mad. What the fuck, number one? What the fuck are you doing that for? And then I just type in, like, sorry, my bad. Oh, my bad. I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you don't acknowledge that you did it on purpose? No, I always say I made a mistake. And it's like there's no feasible way that could... I mean, how? what were you trying to do if that was the mistake? Right. You, but how about you, you shot somebody a, up by mistake? You could blow somebody up by mistake, theoretically. Or what else you can do is uh, you can have a teammate come pick you up in a helicopter. And then they land their helicopter next to you. And then you get them to get off the helicopter. And then you blow up the helicopter. So then you're both stuck in the area. Do they get mad at you for that? Furious. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? Uh, what do you say? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Made a mistake. <laughs> So can they block you and not play with you again, or does your name change every time? So uh, your name doesn't change every time. Uh, they're p you're pieced together randomly. Like, you could ex you could try to send friend requests. Like, if I really fuck with somebody and we're fucking with each other back and forth, I'll send them a friend request to see where their head's at. Sometimes it's like they kind of have enjoyed the battle, but most of the time the friend request is denied. <laughs> um, have you had but, any any guys fuck with you like that? Yes, and that's my favorite thing, because then it's like, okay, now it's on. Like, I've, I've definitely had people try to, but I'm really, that's, it's, it's pretty much all I do. 
So I'm I'm pretty good at it. So you know that's when that's when I like it when that happens. At what? Uh, Pub G. Pub G. Pub G. What's the Pub stand for? Player Unknown Battleground. P U B G. Oh, okay. I always thought it was Mobile. like Pub G. I could never put my finger on the fact that was a fucking a, a fight game. It doesn't sound like a fight game. Yeah, you're in like a a a, a, a large space. And Is it only on your phone or, or iPad or keep no, it on your computer? They make it for PlayStation. They make it for computer, but I like the mobile version. You do? Yeah, I'm kind of a noob like that. Is Travis good? And he PUBG? thinks he's better than he is. I'm yeah, bad. he thinks, he thinks he's a lot better than he is. He's better than Sam. No, he isn't. Yeah, no, I am. Are you I've Travis tricked Travis into doing shit so many times. <laughs> I've fucked Travis' mouth. mouth. <laughs> I, <laughs> we're, not, we're not talking about video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Travis always gets frustrated when I go and find the... Uh, I'm like, oh, a super crate just showed up. I better go grab it. And he's like, oh, what? The, Sam, what are you doing? There's nothing more fun than playing on a team with one of your friends yeah. like Sam and I do. And mm -hmm. the other two team members thinking that only one person is a saboteur. Oh, yeah. And then finding out that it's actually two people. Two people like Travis will be sitting there. Said Travis will be sitting there texting the other guy going like, can you believe fucking number one? <laughs> oh, no, let's not trust him. Oh, let's not help him. And they're acting like, I'm, and then at like the very end of the game, Travis just starts launching grenades his way. <laughs> what are you doing? It's just, it, it, it's shit that like you just never grow out of. This is just no. fucking with people like you used to do when you were teenagers. It is just you fun to never ruin somebody else's it. game. It really is. Do you understand the satisfaction of somebody pulling up to you in a Jeep? And you're going like, help, help, pick me up, form up on me. You can send these commands. And they pull up to you in a Jeep. And they just park in front of you, waiting to get in, so they can drive you to safety. And you pull out a bazooka and blow up the Jeep with them in it. <laughs> like, why would you do that? I came and helped you. And you just blew me up. I'm dead now. And then you just text in, oh, sorry, I thought you were an enemy. <laughs> like, it oh, says you guys right can text there. each other? Yeah. You, you could text the team. Sure. So you just you just you can turn your mic on. I very rarely do, but you could text the team and go like, uh, "Oh, sorry, you know, uh, I thought you were I thought you were an enemy." Even though it says right above the jeep, this is number four. <laughs> yeah, like you it's couldn't. So immature. <laughs> oh my god! I don't my favorite thing. I understand the joy in that though. I, I of course, do understand. Yeah. It's so joy. great. Like, like I used to do it in the arcade when people would be playing Centipede or Space yeah. Invaders. I would say. Dude, they so they just called your mother's in the hospital, and they would turn and go, what? And I would throw hot coffee <laughs> in their face. <laughs> <laughs> That's back when the experience was more tangible. Yeah, yeah, it was a little more in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite things to do is a person dies, whether it's my fault or not. When a person, when your teammate dies... You can go and you can pick up their card. And you can bring their card to an antenna. And the antenna can bring them back into the game. So you're counting on your teammates to go to your box that pops up when you're dead, pick yeah. up your card, bring it to an antenna to bring you back. One of the great things you could do, though, and I've done this to Travis so many times, is the circle shrinks that you're supposed to be playing in, right? And the outside of the circle that you're playing in turns a shade of blue. And if you're in that blue, your health starts to deteriorate immediately. So that's how they make sure, like, they make the space smaller and smaller and right. smaller as the game goes on. What you do is, right before the circle gets smaller, or just when it does, just when the blue starts coming in, you get in your car, and you go find the furthest possible antenna callback. So it's like you're doing something good for your teammate, right? You call them back down, but then before they get down, you get in your car you drive back to safety, and now there's no car for them, and they can't possibly run fast enough to avoid the blue. Avoid so they the end up health deteriorates. Their health deteriorates. They <laughs> Have they got mad at you for that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Sam Why would do that to me. Why would you that one? All the time. Yeah. But, you know, it's part of the game. Like, I know he's going to fuck with me. It's part or you of go the like, fun. Uh, like, you text in, like, uh, I mean, this is where they really get mad. You text in, don't worry, guys, I got him. And so none of the other teammates are going to help him by going to the antenna. And that's when you go to the furthest antenna away possible. And they go, why would you do that? And you're like, sorry, man. <laughs> you just apologize like you didn't mean it? Sorry. My bad. 
I fucked like up. You ju- I'm taking responsibility on this one. This one's on me. That, that was my mistake. That is my bad. Uh, that one? That one you could put on me. That's my bad. <laughs> yep. Anyway, sorry. Unfortunately, we can't go and get your card again because you're in the blue and my health will deteriorate if I pick it up, so can't do it. <laughs> See, that that's just so different than it used to be. The way we would tease people when they were playing video games was so different. Like, how would you do it? Like, it, we, Because we didn't have, like, you were right there. So yeah. if somebody was doing well in the game and you wanted to mess them up, a lot of times I would take gas and I would put it in the entrance of the arcade and I would set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's our bad. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, guys. I was trying to smoke. I thought you were someone else. I apologize. They don't have to run through it. It's a real gaming experience for them. <laughs> it really is. I mean, when you have the ability, and that was that was the learning curve for me on PUBG, was figuring out, like, okay, the first thing you got to do is learn how to play the game. Then the second thing you got to learn how to do is learn how to fuck with people in the game. Yeah, I imagine that would be fun, especially if someone's so taking it fun. really seriously. Like, if they're really intense. Because there's intense yeah. people, I'm sure, that play that shit. And you know oh, that yeah. when they start and you hear them talking, and you're like, oh, All fuck. right, guys, yeah. we're going to gang up together, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to... And, like, they're giving out assignments, and you're like, okay. And that's when you start to go in your head, like, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to play for 10 minutes straight. And then after 10 minutes, all of a sudden start sabotaging. So it comes out of nowhere. Who becomes the team leader? How do you determine that? Like, naturally, I would be the team leader, but in most sure. cases. <laughs> I mean, anybody. There is no real team leader. It's just oh. the person who kind of takes on, like, you know, sure. they go like, hey, guys, follow me. I know where to go. And you're like, fuck off. Or you follow them. Do you ever do you ever not follow them? All the time. All do, the time. do you like sabotaging those guys? Love sabotaging those guys. Those guys are my favorite guys. <laughs> Because they take it so, they're so intense and so serious <laughs> like, about it. Like the reaction, the intense guys, right, when they land specifically in this place. And sometimes I won't even do my helicopter trick. Yep. Sometimes I'll land with them. And if there's a helicopter nearby, I'll just run up to it and blow it up. And I won't even use it myself. <laughs> but so none of us can use it. And then the guy's taking it seriously. He's like, oh, come on, dude, why would you blow that up? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, <laughs> And then I go, oh, sorry, I thought it was an enemy. And it's like, it was nobody was in the helicopter. It was parked. Do you know what was a fun one to do? When somebody what? would be in the arcade playing a game, I would find out which one was his bicycle, and I would uh-huh. rub mar- marmalade on the handlebars. <laughs> <laughs> would it be very slick? Yep. And sticky? Yep. It's always marmalade. It's always, it's always marmalade. marmalade. It always needs yes. to come back to marmalade. Or hats. Hats yeah. and marmalade. Uh, let's, uh... Let's go real quick to line one there, uh, yeah. Travis. He just That's, hung up. Oh, uh, what was he going to say? Let's go to, I'll be Let's heading. go to line two then, John in Ontario. Uh, we don't have to, but okay. Yeah, we'll go. Hey, ahead. guys, how's it going? Hey, John. Good, John. Um, I just had to Google Animal Crossing to see what the hell Travis was talking about, and it has a cover of the game from Nintendo Switch, and then the bottom left has the recommended age for players for the game, and it's clearly a big number three. Oh. Three years old. Oh, so it's three, probably three and up. No, well, no. But I guess like three and, and up, but still. And up. So Way you're saying my up. my toddler that is just now starting to formulate sentences and stuff like that, he could get just as much out of the game as anybody else. Yeah, but you want to make sure that you build the island first so you can name it. Right, that's right. Because he'll get on <laughs> there and try true. to make it his. Yeah. Please send a picture of that later. Yeah, when I'm playing later, and my daughter's not because I'll be playing. I'll send. Can you, you imagine? Going out, how great would it be if you could just sabotage games and I could just blow up Tefton? It would be great. I would oh. light the whole island on fire. <laughs> or you fucking put a wall around it, you throw Corona from a helicopter, you fucking yeah. sprinkle Corona all over Teft Island. 